All right. So it is Sunday, last day of uh, week four on the new property. And we're taking it a little easier today. It's a bit windy, a little bit cooler, and we got uh, Weston and Peyton with us. So we are off now to try to find our property lines. Oh, we got a roadblock. I left the tree cut over the uh, the pathway here. So we're gonna follow the creek. Our property line is goes past the creek here. So all of that over there is still our property. We're not sure where the property line is. That's what we're gonna to try to find. But at some point up the creek here a little ways, our property line becomes the creek. So we're gonna take that, if we take the creek all the way to the road, our property will stay to the right side of the creek. At some point, we're trying to figure that out. Yeah. Stop, Weston, get over here. You better get over here. Don't go. So, welcome to week five. Before we start, though, let's wrap up week four because I uh, got busy yesterday with the grandkids here and didn't do a wrap up. So, week four was primarily getting the uh, roof done. And uh, good thing because I didn't have much time to work on things this week. And we had the roofers come and do their work. So, we still had quite a bit of progress, even though I had to do my real job. So, you can see the roof there nice, white, pristine roof. And we're gonna have some nice contrast once we get the uh, pillars replaced on the porch. And then also Chris is doing the shutters. She's gonna make the shutters, make those the, the uh, same color stain as what we're gonna do the deck. So we'll have some nice contrast there to the white. Um, so that was the uh, main thing from week four. We also got a few other um, projects finished that we had started in earlier weeks, like removing all the flooring. We continued on the demo inside. We got some of the ceiling taken down in the shop and we, Got quite a bit done on the outside. Chris got a lot of uh, cleanup done on the outside too, but there's tons more to do. So again, welcome to week five. Let's get this kicked off. Let's talk about what we're gonna do this week. So one of the first things we're gonna do this week is uh, take a trip to the dump, get rid of uh, some of the drywall we pour, pulled out for the demolition. And then we've also canceled our Port Aransas Beach January trip because of all the rising cases of COVID. And we're just afraid that all the amenities are gonna be shut down when we get down there. So we don't wanna spend the money to travel for a month this winter with everything going on when we can spend that money here on the remodel. So one of the things we're gonna do is get a um, expansion propane so we can just do the refills, take them right up the road here to Dobson Hardware. And so Camco has a nice propane extension kit that we're gonna basically install on our onboard propane so that uh, we'll always have propane here throughout the colder winter months. Uh, Chris is also working on, I'll take you in the shop here in just a second. She's back there in the shop working on a desk for my office. That's a project for this week, week five. Um, the other project, probably the main project, two of them. One is moving the washer and dryer from the current utility room to the back utility room. We're just gonna temporarily install it back there so that we can finish the demo of the bathroom and utility room now. Um, the other major project that we're gonna do this week is basically putting in a 50 amp uh, electrical circuit from uh, the main panel over to the RV uh, so we can run more than one of our heaters at a time. So those are the main projects this week. Let's go check on and uh, see what Chris is doing with her furniture build, with her first project being the desk for my office. Camera alert. She's on the phone, she can't say anything bad or our daughter will hear it. Is this going to be the desk? 
So as I mentioned, we're going to uh, add the Camco Extend Stay on for the propane here. Uh, it's nice, sunny, warm day to do that. I think it's gonna be 60 something degrees today. So perfect day to be out here setting us up for the winter. So we're just gonna take this cover off. We're gonna install a, um, basically a little adapter that goes between your valve here and then your regulator. So your valve is high pressure, your regulator regulates that um, so that your lines of your system are at the right pressure uh, and not the high pressure of the um, actual raw propane line. So that'll go in line between your valve and your regulator and then we'll have an external tank off of here. So again, you can find that Camco Extend Stay propane kit on Amazon or other places online. I'm sure you can probably get them at uh, Camping Worlds and some of the uh, RV places. They're quite popular. So we're going to get started on that install here right after my next uh, conference call. Okay. So you want to take and close your valve before you do anything with disconnecting. But first we're going to take this off. sure uh, what kind of bolts and nuts you might have on yours this one uh, was a 7 16 nut and I noticed that uh, this side was missing no nut on it at all so it's not real necessary to have something to keep that on there real tight because it, it's not the easiest thing to get off So now we're going to want to take this off. This is your regulator. This is your connection to your actual tank. And we've got a Camco piece that's going to go right between there. All right, so uh, we're getting ready to disconnect these so that we can put on this adapter. We're going to put a uh, 7 16 wrench right there just to basically help us uh, keep it tight and then we're going to use a 7 8 wrench here to loosen this up first we want to close this valve Actually turning the opposite direction so we're turning clockwise normally you would loosen something by turning counterclockwise in this case we're doing clockwise burst of gas it surprised me yep you'll have a little burst of gas there coming back no big deal on that that's just the gas coming out of the regulator there we go okay so we'll just let that hang loose here you notice it's got the uh, flared fitting so you're not going to want to use any plumb tape or any type of uh, sealant on here. These flared fittings are made specifically for gas lines. So you're going to want to put your new Camco Extend a Stay propane kit adapter here. I'll put this end in here. And actually, make sure you go counterclockwise now. The opposite direction of what you were going to loosen so it feels a little different than normal tightening because it's going the opposite direction that you normally tighten so again you don't want to over tighten these brass fittings and you also don't want to use something like channel locks or um, vice grips on those because it'll damage the uh, the threads there Do the 
the same thing with your add the regulator back on one thing to make sure the regulator make sure it's got the release valve down here on the bottom tighten that off the same way all right now we're going to want to check for leaks top part is going to be where you can hook to an external barbecue and this is where you'll this one here the small one in front it's where we'll connect this small hose and go right to our extend to stay propane tank so any um, outside so you can connect this to any external propane source but first before we connect them we want to check to make sure we don't have any leaks here Turn your propane back on. Don't smell anything. Don't see anything. But we're going to go want to go get some soapy water and test this out. So we'll turn it off while we go do that. And then turn it back on after we get some soapy water ready. All right, so we've made our solution. we just got a spray bottle here. A spray bottle helps you apply it a little bit more evenly. What you're looking for is um, any propane leaks that might make uh, something liquid bubble up. That's the best way to see it. And so soapy water is typically the, the go-to solution. Um, I just put a few drops of soapy water in here, maybe a half a cup of water. And if you can shake it up and see like a bunch of bubbles there, then that's good enough for you to put it on here. So we're going to go ahead and turn the propane back on. And again, you can listen or smell, but that's not a good enough indication. You might have a very slow leak. I'm going to spray this on all the fittings. You can even spray it on some of the other ones that you didn't do just to check your whole tank. So that's what we'll do here. We'll just spray it on all the fittings and see if we can see anything bubbling up. Now, of course, you'll have bubbles just from the spray, but what you'll see, you'll if there's a leak, you'll see bubble a bubble basically almost make them... You'll, you'll see it making a larger bubble, um, almost like a kid with a little uh, soapy bubbles that they blow through the little wand. And it looks like we're good. We don't have any leaks here. So we're going to keep this handy. So when we do this next fitting with this next hose right here, make sure we don't have any leaks there either. So once again, we're just going to turn this uh, back off. Probably don't have to do that when you're putting this little one on, but we don't want to have any any uh any leakage now the, the pain about this one is you have to turn the whole hose so there's no nut on there to tighten it it's a 7 16 we're just going to turn turn that about a quarter turn half turn now what we can do here is turn this right back on Test it out there, and you can test your adapter here, see that you've gotten that there. So we're ready to hook that up to a, another unit so that we can have an extended stay here through the winter without having to uh, tear down every time we want to go get this filled. So obviously we'll be going through the smaller tanks a little faster. We're just going to have two tanks on hand. Uh, whenever one is empty, we'll switch over to the other one and get the other one filled. So uh, we've got a place about a mile away that'll fill them. So that's the way we're going to go. So I'm going to go get the tanks and hook it up and we'll be good to go. All right, so we've got our 15 pound Blue Rhino exchange here. We'll put that in place. And then we will tighten this up. So I'm just going to slide it underneath here. Chris is in there working on our saw. That was a little bit scary. <laughs> Chris turned the saw on right when I turned this on. It was a little uh, 
alarming. But once again, one last time, we'll spray here for any any leaks. If you're not if you're not traveling for a long period of time, you can leave it like this. But before you travel and you're going to be mobile, you can either take this off, uninstall it, put the regulator back on, or you're going to want to fabricate a piece here to close off the bottom of this cover so that nothing can bounce up and get in there and hit that regulator and hurt something. So other than that, we're in pretty good shape here.